Do you remember that boy band called JLS? Come on everyone, shame on you. How could you forget them? Maybe you're too much into One Direction to even try and remember JLS. Anyways, let's find out where JLS are now. First up, who are they again? The four-piece band JLS, aka Jack the Lad Swing, is from South London. In 2008, JLS are the runners-up to Alexandra Burke on the reality TV show The X Factor. So that's 14 years ago. We'll forgive you if you were too young when they first rose to fame. Their most popular and well-known songs are Beat Again and Everybody in Love. After The X Factor, they had hit singles selling over 10 million records. But unfortunately, like most boy bands out there, JLS broke up in 2013. But that doesn't mean that they haven't left their mark, because they sure have. If you can't remember any of their hit songs, how about their iconic colored hoodies? Everyone wanted those. I know I did. How about you? Next, we have an update on Aston Marigold. Aw, oh, sweet little Aston, who used to be the baby of the group, is no longer a baby. He was only 20 years old when he joined the group. Now he's 33 and all grown up. After their group split up, Aston launched a solo career just like the other members of the group. In 2013, Aston joined Sky No. 1's Got to Dance as a judge. His co-judges include diversity dancer Ashley Banjo and American singer Kimberly Wyatt. Aston shows off his incredible dance moves and acrobatics on this show. In 2015, his first single Get Stupid is released, but the album has never been released. Poor guy. But his hit song did, however, feature in the TV commercial for Samsung Galaxy's S9 smartphone. In 2017, Aston joined season 15 of Strictly Come Dancing. Not only does he have a great voice, but he's also a great dancer. Unfortunately, he and his partner Jeanette Manrera got eliminated in week 7, leading them in 10th place. But in 2018, he's invited back to the Strictly Christmas special, where he reunites with Jeanette. They end up winning the show. Since 2019, Aston's career is really hitting it off as he's joined the CBBC series Almost Never. He's been on the Rip It Up tour with Jay McGinnis, Louis Smith, and Harry Judd. Concerning his love life, he's engaged to Sarah Louise Richards, and they have two kids. Aren't you excited to hear what he's going to do next? Now we're going to talk about J.B. Gill. J.B. is without a doubt the heartthrob of this group. J.B. has been making music since the age of seven. He plays the guitar, the piano, the recorder, and the flute. Did you know that before he pursued a career in singing, he used to play rugby? After completing his exams at university, he decided to try out for the X Factor. This is where he comes into contact with the other members of JLS. After JLS's split, JB has released a debut solo single, Best Night of My Life, with DJ Charlie Hedges. I wonder what those two been up to. JB's also been making appearances in TV shows like Celebrity MasterChef 2014. In 2015, he appeared in the second season of The Jump, and in 2016, Who's Doing the Dishes? In 2017, he competed in Dance, Dance, Dance with his wife, Chloe Tangney. They came third. Nowadays, JB is a presenter on BBC's Song of Praise. JB, thank you for spreading a positive message to the world. He's also a supporter of charities like the Red Cross and the Woodland Trust. Good, JB. On top of all that, 35-year-old JB is a great dad to his son and daughter. They live on an 11-acre farm in Kent and grow their own apples and pears. JB is a member of a campaign to promote British apples and pears. He really has it all. Not only does he do the dishes, but he's a regular churchgoer too, as well as a farmer. Next up is Arishay Williams. Arishay has always been eye candy. Back then and now he looks better than ever. He's the founding member of the band which he used to call UFO, aka Unique Famous Outrageous. Sadly, another group have already taken that great name. So what happened to him after quitting JLS? Six months after leaving his band, he takes part in the reality show Stepping Out with his then-girlfriend AJ Azari. The two of them won the show on September 2013, beating Brain McFandon and his then-wife Vogue. Arishay then decided to start a solo career. In 2015, he released his first album called Waterline. He also contributed time and money to charities such as Together for Short Lives, Children in Need, Sport Relief, and Helping Haiti. Unfortunately, in 2018, Arishay ran into legal issues. One of his fans in Wolverhampton accused him of rape. Arishay was acquitted after a three-year-long legal battle. If guilty, that's shameful, don't you think? But in December 2021, 35-year-old Arishay proposed to his girlfriend, Kaz Kumar. He arranged a spectacular proposal for his lady. He proposed on the road during JLS's comeback tour. He went as far as to get photographers and videographers to help film this special event. 
Harley-Davidson arranged bikes, jackets, and lanyards. Arishi went down on one knee, giving Kaz a one-in-a-universe ring embedded with a pink sapphire crystal specially flown in from her native country, Sri Lanka. Next on our list, let's talk about Marvin Humes. Hey, old Marv. 36-year-old Marv is the oldest member of the group and the first person that Orishi recruited to join JLS. So where's Marvin today? Guess what? He's a DJ, TV presenter, and a radio host. He's been presenting several shows such as The Voice UK. He was on from 2014 to 2017. His show then moved to Channel 3. In 2019, Marvin has his own show, The Hit List, on BBC. He hosts the show with his wife, Rochelle Humes. This show has lasted three seasons. The Hit List is a game show where pairs of contestants must name as many hit songs and artists as they can in a very short time. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Humes has been with his wife, Rochelle, for a decade. These two are madly in love and have two daughters and one son. In 2013, he was even nominated Celebrity Dad of the Year. That's a big honor for a family man like him. Best of all, he has a net worth of $5.3 million. Now that's what we call success. It's refreshing to hear about ex-band members creating new and positive lives for themselves, instead of ex-celebrities who end up like trash in a ditch. The old members of JLS are continuing to present a positive message to their fans around the UK and the rest of the world. Are you guys as excited as we are that these three stars are back together again to make some awesome music? Go JLS! We are all rooting for you. Tell us down below in the comments section what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up.